It's no overstatement to say that Donald Trump's path to the White House began with a single conspiracy theory, that being that Barack Obama wasn't an American, the so-called birther conspiracy. Then citizen Trump made hay with it, making unproven accusations, saying he had sent his own team of investigators to Hawaii to investigate it. None of it was true. All of it was debunked many times over. But no matter, it served as a launch pad for Mr. Trump's embrace of conspiracy theories, extending right into his presidency, right into this week. Here's Randy Kay. President Trump first jumped on the latest Hillary Clinton conspiracy, which has already been debunked, presumably after seeing this. Now there are reports, and this doesn't surprise me in the slightest, that China was hacking her emails in real time. That was last night. Then right after Fox's Laura Ingram signed off, President Trump parroted the theory in a tweet. Hillary Clinton's emails, many of which are classified information, got hacked by China. The report, as the president called it, actually began before Ingram, when conservative website The Daily Caller claimed that a Chinese company in Washington, acting as a, quote, front group for the Chinese government, had hacked Clinton's private server. And The Daily Caller likely got their story from known conspiracy theorist Texas Congressman Louis Gomer who talked about it last month. The problem was that it was going to an unauthorized source that was a foreign entity unrelated to Russia. Unrelated to Russia or China or, it turns out, to anyone. That's because, according to the FBI, who conducted the investigation into Clinton's servers, none of this is true. The Bureau today releasing a statement saying, the FBI has not found any evidence the servers were compromised. And that's not the only conspiracy theory the president's been promoting over the past few days. Just yesterday, before dawn, Mr. Trump turned his sights on Google, tweeting, Google search results for Trump news shows only the viewing reporting of fake news media. In other words, they have it rigged for me and others so that almost all stories and news is bad. Trump was parroting an article by a conservative blog and a report on Fox Business. Google blatantly suppressing conservative media outlets from Americans searching for Trump. Sure sounds nefarious, but there's a problem. There's no real evidence to support the claim. In fact, Google was forced to respond saying it never ranks search results to manipulate political sentiment. But just like any good conspiracy theory, it lives on the president this afternoon. I think Google is uh, really taking advantage of a lot of people. And I think Randy Kay, CNN, New York.